history was made in Hangzhou, China, on May 25, 2025. For the first time ever, humanoid robots entered a real boxing ring and fought like trained fighters. It wasn't a simulation. It wasn't CGI. It was a live, unscripted tournament. And the footage? Unbelievable. This is the story of how the Unitree G1 Robot Boxing Championship stunned the world and why it's more than just entertainment. The event was called Unitree Iron Fist King Awakening, and it marked the launch of something the world has never seen before, humanoid robot sports. Held near Unitree Robotics' massive new 10,000 square meter facility, this tournament wasn't just a tech showcase. It was a full-contact, high-stakes test of robotics in motion, with teams competing for dominance in the ring. Each robot was remotely controlled by a human team. But don't be fooled. This wasn't someone simply moving a joystick. Operators had to rely on predictive software, real-time sensor feedback, and lightning-fast reaction control. The format? Three rounds. Two minutes each. Points awarded for hand and leg strikes. Knockdowns carried penalties. And yes, some robots got knocked out cold. Each robot was remotely controlled by a human team. But don't be fooled. This wasn't someone simply moving a joystick. Operators had to rely on predictive software, real-time sensor feedback, and lightning-fast reaction control. The format? Three rounds, two minutes each. Points awarded for hand and leg strikes. Knockdowns carried penalties. And yes, some robots got knocked out cold. What made Jaws drop wasn't just the spectacle. It was how human some of these movements looked. Quick footwork, sudden dodges, even the way they got back up off the ground, eerily lifelike. The stars of the event? Unitree's G1 humanoid robots. Standing at 1.3 meters tall and weighing just 35 kilograms, these machines are compact, fast, and built for action. Powered by the LAFAN One Motion Capture dataset, they can perform complex movements like side flips, kip ups, and rapid leg strikes. They boast 23 degrees of freedom, knee joints with 90 Newton meters of torque, and a top speed of 2 meters per second. It's the kind of agility most people didn't think was possible for robots outside of a movie. But this wasn't just a fun show. According to Joe D, an expert from the China Computer Federation, this was a massive stress test for both software and hardware. In real combat, robots have to do it all. Read the opponent, predict attacks, change stances instantly, and recover from hits. Every frame of every match gave developers priceless data on what works and what needs improvement. As the videos of the matches began to spread, so did the shock. Online viewers compared it to real steel. Some were amazed, some were unnerved, but no one could look away. This wasn't a demonstration, it was a turning point. A moment where robotics left the lab and stepped into the spotlight. And this was just the beginning. China has already confirmed a second robot boxing event, scheduled for December 2025 in Shenzhen. This time, full-sized humanoids will take the stage. Larger, more powerful, even more advanced. The goal? To push the limits of artificial intelligence, human-machine collaboration, and dynamic robotics in ways we've only imagined until now. You've just witnessed the start of something big. The age of robot sports isn't coming. It's already here. If you want to see how this evolves, from sparks to strategy, subscribe now and stay tuned. The next round starts soon.